Hey guys, how's it going? Today I'm back with a super science. Uh, I don't know if you guys remember we did this for a while, but basically uh, what it is, is we take something that has a basis in science or can be explained with science to some degree from comics. We take something like that and we basically talk about it, um, you know, explaining it, you know, talking about how it would work in the real world, the real science behind it, stuff like that. Uh, things we've done in the past are the pin particles, speed force, green lantern rings, the Ant-Man helmet itself that allows him to communicate with ants. You know, things like that. Uh, so go check them out if you're interested. This one will be a little bit more different. Uh, a new kind of strategy going forward we're going to be doing is basically we're going to take a question posed by comic book fans a lot and we're going to answer it. Uh, you know, science-based stuff. So like, how strong is Superman? How can Superman fly? You know, things like that would fit into it. Uh, also, you know, things that would fit into is how does heat vision work? I mean, I'm just using Superman as an example because this one is how strong is Superman. But hopefully you guys get the basic gist of it. So comment below, obviously, uh, you know, whenever in the video you want, uh, with any suggestions, any ones you want to see. And without further ado, let's get into it. So at first glance, a lot of people understand that Superman is already very, very strong. He's, he's known as one of the most strongest heroes in comics. Um, usually people are you know, smart enough and knowledgeable enough with the comics to understand that while he gets more sunlight, he gets stronger. However, that's not essentially true. Uh, you know, obviously he has to absorb sunlight, but the truth is that he's actually physically the same as a regular human with the same height and build. And according to the CrossFit standards, you know, with his height and weight, which according to DC, you know, books and wikias is uh, six foot three inches and 235 pounds, Superman, being someone that engages in somewhat regular physical activity, he should be able to bench at least 228 pounds, you know, just with his muscles. He is actually not, his skeletal muscle system, first and foremost, this is a comic book, but even putting comic books aside, it would be impossible with his frame to output as much force as he does. Alien or not, there would have to be another way, especially because when he absorbs his solar radiation, I mean, they don't go into if it's a chemical process or what, probably it would be chemical. But the bottom line is he would expend way too much energy, lifting as much weight as he does in the comics, way too fast. So there has to be something else going on here. Um, so the truth of it is, he's actually not physically strong enough to lift a hundred something tons. Now before you leave this video disliking it and you know leaving a bunch of negative comments, listen to the rest of the video, because Superman is strong. I'm just gonna get to how he gets his strength to do the feats he does. So we do see, you know, evidence for this, you know, what I just said through things like the solar flare power or his exposure to red sunlight because, it, you know, the solar flare power, he uses it, he expends the energy he gets supposedly, and he's a normal human for about 24 hours, or at least he's like a normal human for about 24 hours. And then the same thing with the red sunlight. Um, with the red sunlight, if he's exposed to it, he loses his powers because that's obviously what Krypton's native sun was. It was a red sun. Now, and I'm not even going to go into the actual like, you know, science behind you know, that whole thing. But basically, Superman, he is really, you know, not that strong physically. What it's called is telekinesis. Now, more specifically, Superman has a limited tactile telekinesis, which is called psionic strength. I think I pronounced it right. But basically the definition of that is the ability to augment one's natural strength through their mind through a limited form of telekinesis. Now this is how Superman is able to do stuff like in the picture for example, he's able to lift objects which are heavier slash larger than himself without the object crumbling under its own weight. Because a big critique in the, in, you know, in the science world for someone like Superman and like the Hulk and all that stuff is how come it doesn't crumble under the weight. Now, at least in the comics, they've been pretty good with the Hulk, you know, showing stuff crumbling, even for even if it's just for dramatic effect. But for Superman, he's done stuff like lift airplanes from like the cone, and it, you know, with no negative effect on the plane, which could only be done with a form of telekinesis. Now, you're probably saying, no, there's no way, there's no other evidence in the comics to back this up. Well, actually, there is. Uh, if you're familiar with Superboy, he's the half clone of Superman, or you know. Superman's genetics make up half his, and then depending on which continuity, it's either Lex Luthor's or Lois Lane's. Lois Lane be New 52 Superboy, and pre New 52 Superboy, and most other incarnations being, you know, Lex Luthor being the human half. But basically, Superboy's main powers are tactile telekinesis, which is, by definition, the user can move objects with telekinesis 
but only through physical contact. So basically what it looks like is Kryptonian strength, they might be naturally very strong themselves, but it looks like, you know, and this goes into invulnerability, flight, all that stuff. It's really just a form of telekinesis. They just have a very limited version of it. Now this kind of answers our question here. You know, the question posed was how strong is Superman? And the answer is, you know, from what I just told you guys and explained, basically his, his strength is, there is no limit basically. He is as strong as he wants to be. Um, because most of his strength comes from his limited form of telekinesis, which obviously comes from his mind. So, and obviously, you know, that includes him having to absorb the yellow sun radiation to get energy. But the bottom line is, Superman physically is not as strong as he appears to be. It is psionic strength, which is really interesting. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And uh, leave your comments below with your thoughts, more ideas for other super sciences. And I'll see you guys next Friday with the next episode.